What trends are you seeing in the industry that's impacting the agribusiness insurance marketplace? So one of the main things that we see is weather. Um, it affects us from coast to coast and uh, where a lot of other carriers have had to deal with maybe pulling out of certain areas. We have a couple of minute carriers that have stayed with us and we may use wind hail deductibles to help with that process. Uh, but for the lower 48, we've ma managed to stay in just about every state and continue to write business uh, with these carriers. One of the other trends that we have is wildfire. And with wildfire, just like any other carrier, it's made it a little bit more challenging, um, especially on the West Coast uh, for some of those areas. Uh, but we do try to uh, utilize our carriers and to write business where we can with that. One thing that we can do from our standpoint is uh, we're able to use an ENS market for some of those larger risks that may have the, the wildfire issues. So we try to tailor our programs in a way to where we're able to help a client no matter what the situation is. How are you addressing wind and hail exposures? Well, from a coastal standpoint, uh, we're able to write anything that is outside of 50 miles from the coast. So if it's wind, within 50 miles, uh, we, we tend to stay away from that, but most other carriers do as well. And the um, agent insured will typically have to find wind coverage through a Lloyd's market, uh, which uh, we can also handle through one of our GenCap partners. But for, uh, for us with our standard carriers, 50 miles or in, depending on the county, we may have to utilize a wind hail deductible, which could be one or 2%.